Hello everyone, welcome to Forever Rugby on Forever Sports. And breaking news, Rusty Rasmus has officially named the Springbok squad that will travel to Argentina for the second last rugby championship round with a win for the box um, securing the rugby championship title. Whilst a bonus point win for Argentina would actually mean that the final game of the rugby championship, which will be the Springboks taking on Argentina in the Mbombela Stadium, will be a final basically. It will be a rugby championship final. Um, with Argentina still uh, the, the only side really that can catch the box at the moment. And uh, Rusty Rasmus has named a very interesting squad uh, where he has rested seven players, uh, seven key players, including Sacha Feinberg and Gomez Zulu, um, who has been left, who's going to be left behind um, with 28 players going over, including the likes of Mike Liebach, for example. We haven't seen much of uh, Kenan Moody. Uh, we might get another opportunity. Um, but before we look at the squad, please do smash like on the video. Please do subscribe to the channel as well. Let's have a look, shall we? And uh, let's just go through the squad. Let's start, and then we'll go look at some of the common stuff that he has made. So that is the squad that is going over. So your props are Thomas Satoy, Vincent Koch, Oxenchair, and Gerard Stenekam. Um, I expect to Thomas Satoy get some minutes. Uh, he hasn't played as much as the other props, for example. And uh, obviously, he covers both Lucid and Tighted. So, um, you know, could, could play, um, will, will probably play. At uh, um, a tight end, given the fact that uh, Oxen shares, uh, sorry, Vincent Cock is the only other sort of out and out tight end. And I do think the Thomas Toy is viewed as a tight end. Um, wouldn't surprise me if he were to get the start. Um, we've gone over two hookers in Johan Kravala and Malcolm Marks. No Bongi in Benambi. Uh, Eben Etzebeth has gone over as well as Nicholas Janssen von Rensburg, Salmurat, and Ruan Nokia. Interesting to see what happens there. Um, Eben Etzebeth is probably something you kind of expect to see uh, potentially get that rest. Um, and if you look at the loose forwards, uh, Ben Jason Dixon is uh, going to get an uh, opportunity. Sia Khaleesi, Albert Lowe, Quaker Smith, Marco Verstappen, and Jasper Visa. So no Peter Steph to the toy. If you look at the scrum offs, Jaden Henderson, Kubas Ranach, and Grant Williams. Pretty straightforward there. Mani Ebok and Hunter Pollock, the only two fly halves. Lekanya Am, Jesse Creel, the only two centers with Kaden Moody uh, potentially being another option over there. The outside backs options are Kurt Lawrence, Akhile Fassi, and Makazolo Mapimpi. Uh, in terms of the seven players that have been left behind, they are as follows. Um, Bongi Manambi, Franz Moherba, Peter Steff the Toy, Sasha Fahmi Gomazulu, Damien Delendi, Cheslin Colby, and Vili Leroux. Uh, Vili Leroux obviously not even played as much as some of the others been left behind, but um, they are probably looking to sort of sort of phase them out. They, they keep saying they're going to give them to 100 tests um, and then, you know, transfer and, you know, the next few players will start to come uh, in there. So I think this sort of squad selection is very reminiscent of that. Um, in terms of other selections, uh, the, the only two hookers usually travel with three, but there is Jan Hendrik Vessels, who uh, covers hooker and can also play at prop. Um, as mentioned over there, he's listed as a... Uh, um, I think it's utility forward over there. So where well, there are options, there are options. You know, your lucid options are Oxen Chair, Geras Tenica, Bjorn Hendrik Vessels, and Thomas Toy. Your tight head options are Thomas Toy and Vincent Koch. So, you know, expect to see both those players really being played there. Your hooker options, Kovalar Marks, as well as Jan Hendrik Vessels. So lots and lots of opportunity options over there. In terms of uh, what Rusty Rasmus has said, um, in terms of those seven players, they will be given a specialized training program to keep them sharp. And we'll link up with the squad for that final test. Uh, in terms of what he has said, he said, uh, we have been um, open about our policy to try and give as many players in our wider squad as possible a chance to play against the top teams in the world. We believe playing against Argentina in Santiago, where we are expecting a massive encounter in front of a hostile crowd, will serve as a great test for this group of players. Um, the players we decided to rest have really done their bit this season and their body deserve a break. So we thought the best for them to, um, would be to enjoy a break, spend some time with families before joining us in Nelsbreit. Uh, all of the players in the 28-man squad have been in the setup this year and have proved their worth. So we are delighted to give them an opportunity to face Argentina on their home ground. Uh, he said Argentina proved last week what a force they could be by defeating the Wallabies 67 points 27, which was the largest defeat in the Wallabies history in Santa Fe. So we know how tough the match will be against them. And this is exactly what we want our players to experience as we continue to build the group for the 2027 Rugby World Cup 
in Australia. Uh, in terms about uh, some of the players that have been left behind, he said, uh, this is a short tour, and we are confident we have sufficient cover in all positions within this group. He said, some players such as Johan Krabala, Mai Liebach, Jaden Henshaw, Kenny Moody um, will benefit immensely from more game time at this level, while other players such as Apriya Fassi and Ben Jason Dixon, for example, grab their chance with both hands this season, and we are excited to see them back in action. Uh, finally, in terms about the rugby championship, he says, uh, we know how grueling it's going to be over there. It'll take a massive effort to beat Argentina at home. But as we've shown all season, we have full faith in all the players in our wider group and believe that we have such a wealth of squad depth that any young player can step in and fill the boots of the more experienced players. He says, although it'll be tough, we want to see what the players can do in such a pressure cooker of a game, and we are getting there with the goal of winning the competition. This squad boasts a good mix of youth and experience, which we feel will bode well for the tour. Um, they're going to assemble in Stellenbosch on Wednesday, apparently, and they will depart for Argentina on Saturday. Um, so there we have it. I think, you know, we'll, we'll do a bit of a predicted team um, tomorrow, probably, in terms of what we think we'll see from in, in that sort of 23. But uh, I do think that uh, we're going to see Ben Jason Dixon for me will, will probably start. Um, I think we'll see Marco van Staden off the bench. I think we'll see Jasper Visa and Sia uh, uh, Kalisi probably start. For the locks, I, I reckon we're going to see Nicholas Hans van Rensburg get some game time. I do think you're going to see Andrew Vessels. I do think we'll see Thomas the Toy. I've got a feeling you might see my box start as well, if not at least come off the bench. Uh, so it's a nice balance, really. You know, I, I think the players who have been left behind do need the rest. Um, you know, and very interesting to see that somebody like Sash Farmer Gomazulu is being prioritized. You know, he's been left behind to rest and get ready for that final test. So he very much seems to have that sort of number one uh, flower half spot nailed down as it stands. And uh, very excited to see how important he's become in such a short space of time. Let me know what you think of the squad down in the comments below. Smash a like on the video. Subscribe to the channel as well. Uh, thank you very much for watching. My name is Steve, and we'll chat to you soon.